Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we're taking a look at this brand new 2024 Tandera 27BH OK 5th wheel. If you're looking for a mid-sized, smaller profile 5th wheel that has a lot of really nice upgrades to it, this might be the one for you. We're gonna take a few seconds, run you through the inside and outside of this RV, and even show you at the end what it looks like closed up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2024 Tandera 27 BHOK fifth wheel. As you've seen on the floor plan that was up a little bit ago, this is a front master bedroom, rear bunk room setup, kitchen living room kind of in the middle let's start back here in the back and then we'll work our way forward for you so first things back here is going to be the kids room so you have three drawers here and a large closet up above here there are tv hookups and a backer in the wall right here so you could mount your tv up here if you want to there's electric outlet and usb charger port at each bunk Look at that big window there with the built-in shade. Nice wide bunks here. Another window back there. You have AC and heat both ducted into this room. So when the kids close off the uh, sliding pocket door here for privacy, you don't have to worry about it being hot or cold back there. It should be pretty comfortable. Over here on your slot, you got that big U-shaped dinette right there. There's storage underneath of there. You have a little cabinet door on each side there. There's electric outlet and USB charger ports there. And it will also go down and make into a bed. You have large windows over there, again, having those built-in nightshades. 10.7 cubic foot, 12-volt refrigerator with the drawer down below as well. The slide floor matches the main floor, so it kind of gives it that continuous look. Then you have a really nice glide sofa there that will flip out, make into a bed, so you could sleep a couple more people here if you wanted to. Lots of overhead cabinet space there, shelf space. Over here is going to be kind of like your little entertainment area. So down below, you do have quite a bit of storage here. You'll notice the heat ducts in this area are coming out of the cabinetry instead of the main floor. Two windows on this side, kind of overlooking the awning or campsite area there. You have your stereo. It's a Jensen radio there with some indoor speakers and a large TV. You have your GE microwave right there, hood range light and fan, and also quite a bit of cabinet space there. Large high rise sprayer faucet there, and there is a big undermount sink. Flip up counter extension. Below that is the propane leak detector down there. Then you have four drawers. The Greystone oven there with the glass front, the light up knobs, light inside, flip up and down glass lid for extra counter space if you're not using it. It's a three burner gas cooktop. You have your electric box with your breakers and fuses right below the oven. And then a lot of storage underneath of that sink area as well. Now going up the hallway area here, just on our left, we have our digital thermostat for the downstairs AC in the propane furnace. You got a light switch here with a dimmer on it as well. Up here, you're going to have a slide button, awning button, some light switches, 12 volt tank heaters uh, for cold weather camping, water pump, monitor panel here. This one was ordered with a 200 watt solar panel as well. Motion light down there at the steps, nice size grab handle here. 
Going up into the bathroom area, you're going to have four drawers and some storage down here. A decent amount of counter space here, and there is the on-demand water heater controls, electric outlet, and some light switches here, along with a pretty good size medicine cabinet. Over there, you're going to have a little vent fan up here. There's a skylight up above, AC duct up there, the glow LED light, a little bit nicer shower head up there, ABS tub surround, glass enclosure, basically a step-in shower. There's porcelain foot flush toilet. I even have this little fancy toilet paper holder that's magnetic holder down there. Some little robe hook holders or towel holders. You have a sliding pocket door here for privacy for your bathroom. Then you're up into your master bedroom area here. Now there is cabinetry across the whole top and shelving down each side. There is a little shelf just above the end of the mattress there. Electric outlet, USB charger ports there as well. And then down on the side, you got a little end table thing here. There's an electric outlet and USB port on each one of those as well. Now this bed will raise up. So there's a lot of storage underneath of there. Again, this one was ordered with a second Coleman AC here. Digital thermostat over here for that one. And then you have another light switch with dimmer as well. Little closet area and some more drawer space over there. And you have TV hookups up here. All vinyl floor up here as well. Both of these windows up here in the bedroom do open. You have again those built-in shades in those as well. There's even a little magnetic holder that holds back your swing door here just to uh, kind of keep it from swinging around as you're going in and out of there. Now up top right here, you're gonna have prepping for the gateway connect feature. So this has a WineGuard Air 360 Plus antenna, which works your TV, but you can also get the gateway connect, put it here, and subscribe to like Verizon wireless internet and take the internet with you if you wanted to. All right, we're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside of this RV, then we're gonna come back in. Show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are now back on the outside of the brand new 2024 Tandera 27 BH OK fifth wheel here. We're gonna walk you around the outside. Let's get started here on the door side. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior attached to the upgraded Asdale composite material. So it is much less likely to have delamination issues on the fiberglass compared to that cheaper wood Luan backer that a lot of brands use. You do have that square window look to it. Again, it has those built-in shades that you seen when we were inside. Deep tent, safety glass windows. You have a lower black metal skirting, some vinyl graphics, painted front cap as well. This one was ordered with the four point electric auto level jack system. So you have two jacks here in the front with the quick pull pins. And there's gonna be two more behind the axles when we get back there. This was also set up with two 30 pound propane tanks, one on this side and one on the other side. Now in here, you do have a decent sized pass through storage. There is a motion activated LED light here. You have electric outlet, cable satellite outlets here in case you want to put a TV outside. You also have hot and cold outside utility shower on this side so that you can clean up any messes you might make over here. Baggage door is held up by a magnetic holder. And this is a little bit thicker, better insulated baggage door as well with the metal slam lock. 
We got a big power awning here, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting, manual override in the front arm head. You have the heavy duty more ride entry exit step here. Comes down, touches the ground, adjustable feet depending on your terrain. And it's rated for 500 pounds where the traditional old hover style step is only rated for 300. You have the heavy duty more ride entry exit handle here as well. This comes out nice and far, so it's a little easier for the little ones to grab a hold of when they're going in and out of there versus the fold up and down ones that are typically a little bit closer to the body of the RV. Amber light there. You'll see little advertisement stickers here. One tells you your model number, also reminding you about that Four Seasons package that's standard on the RV, the Asdale upgrade, and then the Care Camps Foundation as well for kids with cancer. Check that out as well. You do have the dual axle setup here. It has a More Ride CRE 3000 suspension upgrade there in the middle. Kind of acts like shock absorbers for RVs. Currently riding on Goodyear Endurance tires, aluminum wheels, easy loop hubs, and drum brakes. And then back there again, you can see those electric auto level jacks here on the backside. Just underneath the there is also a propane hookup, so you could hook up your Greystone griddle over there, you'll see here in a second. Stove exhaust vent up there. Very important to remember to open the flapper on that if you're in there cooking. Right here, again, Greystone griddle. Nice little feature here, propane setup. You do have a metal shelf here as well. Couple electric outlets back there, light in here, and a 110 mini fridge. Same setup here, you have that thicker baggage door with the magnetic holders and the metal slam locks. Now just kind of looking down underneath the here, you can see a two inch hitch receiver. This is a actual towing hitch. It's rated for 3,000 pound tow capacity with a 300 pound tongue weight limit. And it does have a four way flat wired up here. Very few fifth wheels or trailers on the market are actually doing tow hitches. So it's nice to see Tandera does actually have one. You also have reverse lights. Again, another nice safety feature that a lot of brands leave out. Easier to see when you're backing in and out of your campsite and just to alert other people that you're trying to actually back up where a lot of these RVs don't have backup lights. Now check out this large compartment right here. Now has a motion light up here as well. So you don't have to really search around for a switch at night. If you're out here fumbling around, you can just kind of wave your hand and the light lights up. But a big compartment here. Same thing there, you got that thicker door, dual latch, metal latches, magnetic holder. You're also gonna have up top there in the center prepping for a rear observation camera by Furion. That allows you to see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road or backing into your campsite. Another nice safety feature I would definitely recommend. There is prepping in the top right corner there. That is prepped for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. Nice little feature there. You can telescope it down, throw it in a compartment, kind of forget about it till you need it. Throw it up there, hook it on, and basically use it as needed. You don't have to worry about the kids climbing up and down, falling off and getting hurt when the ladder's stowed away and kind of out of, the out of their sight. Down here, you can see dump area right here. One of your two dumps. Also see that spare tire underneath of there. Right there's the handle to dump this dump. You'll notice that is a clear dump cap. So before you unscrew that, you can actually see if there might be a mess in there and know what's about to come at you. Just in front of that rear jack on this side is also the fresh water tank drain underneath of there. It's the larger inch and a half gate valve instead of the little 3 8 inch hose that some of them have. So it will dump much faster for you. So you will not have to stand around and wait as long. 
light over here so you can kind of see what's going on at night if you're up here. Looking down below here again, hot and cold low point water drains right here. Nicely finished off enclosed underbelly, dump hose holder here as well. Furnace exhaust out right here, your suburban on-demand water heater also right here. Now gate valves for this front dump are right here, so you got your black and your gray. Battery disconnect, electric outlet, motion light, another outside utility shower, cable satellite inlets. Hook your water up here, send it where you want it to go with these valves here. Black tank flush to clean out your toilet tank as well. And then on this side, there is the second 30-pound propane tank here. Up here, you're going to have your jack controls when you do this auto-level jack system. Nice feature here, easy to use. Some important informational stickers here. For example, our gross weight. The most you can load it up to, axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. 11,560 pounds. You have a dry weight of 8,884 pounds. Exterior length 32 or 33 feet 2 inches. So 33 feet 2 inches. ST 225 75R15E range tires with an 80 PSI cold. Very, very important to keep up with your tire pressure when traveling with any RV. But a very nice, clean look to this thing. Underneath the front side here, you're going to have more storage. And your battery compartment here. The solar charge controller back in there as well. Nice heavy-duty painted front fiberglass cap with some vinyl graphics there for the name and stuff on it. You have a couple glow lights up high, and then you also have another light down here that you can just reach up and turn on. It's got different levels. Currently using the Rhino pin box here, so if you do plan on upgrading this to, say, a Moor Ride or you know a Trail Air or something like that, you do got to make sure it bolts up to the Rhino box bolt pattern. Very, very important. All right, I want to step back inside here, show you what this thing looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are back inside the new 2024 Tandera 27BHOK. I just wanted to show you how the slide kind of works going in and out. This is a 12 volt powered slide system. Button right here to actually run this thing in and out. So let's hit the button, bring it in. Very, very important when bringing this thing in, make sure your floor is clean. You do not want to accidentally run over some sort of rock or kid's toy. It get trapped in between the slide floor and your linoleum and rip and damage it. That would not be good. So this thing just rolls pretty much straight in, straight out. It comes in at a slight upward angle um, when it first kicks in because it is a flush floor slide. Heard that little ratchety noise there? That's the slip worm gear system that basically let me know to let off the button. So when it's closed, I am not getting to that bunk area. Other than that, I can use almost everything in the RV except the fridge. So we block the fridge here, we block the bunk room, and I can still come in here, do some cooking, wash my hands, load some stuff in the cabinetry. I could stop at a rest area, run in, use the bathroom. If you don't have kids and you're maybe buying this for just storage in the back area, um, you know, you could still come in here and use your bedroom area or whatever and not have to worry about any guests. And when you're ready to roll back out, Pretty quick and easy again. We're gonna hit the button and just roll it right on back out. Now there are some like black rubber seal gaskets and stuff, sweeper gaskets around your slide. Those are rubber. It's very important to use a nice rubber condition on those every now and then just to try and keep them soft and pliable. 
so they roll in and out a little bit easier. Kind of seen that floor drop back down, heard that little ratchety noise, letting me know to let off the slide button. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you don't mind helping out my channel. Much appreciated. And as always, please remember to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, guys. Thanks again.